Hello guys and welcome back to the final part of how to paint a Black Templar. In this video I will be demonstrating how I painted the metallics and shield. I start off by base coating the Aquila with Canoptic Alloy. This is a nice bright desaturated bronze colour and it will look great next to the coal black armour. Next I start to shade the Aquila all over with a mix of Cryptek Armour Shade. It's important here not to let this wash pull too much in the recesses. Once this stage is dry, I apply a further shade of Wildwood Contrast. This is a nice rich brown and for this we are concentrating it even more towards the recesses. Finally, I apply a last shade of Rhinox Hide and Black. I just add a touch of black into the Rhinox and carefully line this in around each feather of the wing. This final shading stage will really help to push the contrast and definition of the Aquila. So now that all the shading is complete, it's time to tidy up the metallics. I carefully relayer the canoptic, picking out the elements of the Aquila but being careful to leave the shading. Finally, it's time to go around and pick out the edges with a highlight. I do this by adding Vallejo Model Air Silver into the canoptic alloy. Then I carefully pick out the edges of the feathers. And here we have the finished Aquila. Next it's time to paint the cold metallics. For this I base coat using the old bolt gun metal, however if you don't have this either lead belcher or Vallejo dark aluminium will do. Once this is done, I shade the metallics carefully using non oil and a touch of Agrax. The Agrax makes this shade ever so slightly warmer, which will contrast nicely against the cold armour. It pays to be quite patient and controlled here with the shading, and build it up over several thinner layers. Once I'm happy with the shading, I carefully start to highlight the edges and rivets with Vallejo Model Air Silver. Where the miniature is sharp enough, I'm carefully using the side of the brush to pick out the edge. I repeat these steps for the metallic areas of the backpack.
here we have the finished backpack. Next, I take a break from the metallics to paint the white armor on the shield. For this, as with the shoulder pads, I have base coated the shield with Ulf and Grey. I shade this with a mix of Dawnstone and Bane Blade Brown. For a softer shade here, I mix it into the Ulthwin and glaze it towards the bottom of the shield and around recesses and rivets. Next, I shade Storm Vermin Fur into the recesses, further deepening the shade. After that's done, I decide to add a bit of muddy texture towards the bottom of the shield by stippling glazes of Dawnstone and Baneblade. Lastly, I carefully highlight the edges of the shield and rivets using AK 3rd Gen White. Any bright white will also work for this. At the same time, I make small chips and battle damage around the edges of the shield. I add a small amount of subtle streaking to the rivets using Bane Blade Brown. Now it's time to paint the metallic areas of the shield. For this I'm going to use the same bronze recipe as for the Aquila. So now I've base coated the bronze with Canoptic Alloy and shaded Cryptic Armor Shade towards the bottom of the shield. As before, I increase this shading using Wildwood Contrast, followed by a deep shade of Rhinox with a touch of black. I make sure to push this into the recesses and around the skulls, as before we're looking for high definition and contrast. Next, I mix silver into the bronze and carefully add an edge highlight. At the same time, I have glazed the skull slightly lighter in the middle of the shield, as this will help them to stand out. To add some variation to the bronze, around the skulls, I add some verdigris. To do this, I carefully glaze some Lupercal green around the recesses of the skulls. Lastly, I go around and brighten up the skulls with Vallejo Silver. As the final detail on the shield, I paint the Purity Seal. For the parchment here, I base coat it Carrick Stone and White, shade it with Reichland Flesh Shade, and add a final highlight with White. The wax I painted with 1 to 1 Screamer Pink and Corn Red. I shaded this by adding black into the base mix. I add highlights to the wax by also adding Kislev Flesh into the base mix. Here we have the final completed shield. This concludes the final part of how to paint a Black Templar. 
Thanks to everyone for watching, and a special thanks to all the Patreons who make this possible.